Hey everyone, I'm back with a new evolution clip. Before you start, make sure you subscribe for more interesting videos. Enjoy watching! The first iPod was launched in 2001 and had a monochrome LCD screen, 5GB of internal memory, a scroll wheel that could move physically, and the play, next, previous, and menu playback buttons were placed in around it and also had an operating range of up to 10 hours. The following year, the 10GB model was launched. The second blinding of the iPod appeared in 2002 and was similar to the previous model, the top being redesigned and the mechanical scroll wheel was replaced by one more sensitive to touch. Also, this generation was compatible with Windows and had a storage capacity of 10GB or 20GB. The third generation iPod was completely redesigned, being thinner, had new software, games and alarm clock. These models no longer had Firewire a new dock connector was introduced. The mechanical scroll wheel was changed with a touch, and the control buttons were positioned at the top of the wheel. The third generation iPad had a battery life of up to 8 hours and was available in three versions, 10GB, 15GB, or 30GB. In 2004, Apple released a mid-range iPod version called the iPod Mini. This model had a touch-sensitive scroll wheel of the third generation and the control buttons were positioned on it, hence the name Click Wheel. The second version of the Mini series was launched in 2005 and was very popular with consumers with a longer battery life. The fourth generation iPod was launched in 2004 and took over Click Wheel from the iPod Mini and also used the most energy efficient components of the Mini, thus having a battery life of over 12 hours. The fourth generation iPod was available in 20GB and 40GB and had USB charging. Also in 2004, Apple released the iPod Photo, which was a premium version of the original fourth generation model. It has a 220 by 176 pixel color LCD screen and supports JPEG, bitmap, GIF, and PNG files and can be connected to a monitor or TV for various presentations. Its battery life was about 15 hours for playing music and 5 hours for presenting slides. The iPod Shuffle was released in 2005 and was designed to play songs in random order. It was much different from previous models. It had no screen, but had a control wheel and direct USB connection. The iPod Nano was launched in 2005 and was the smallest MP3 player since then. With only 4 cm wide, 9 cm long, and 0.69 cm thick, it had a battery life of about 14 hours and was available in three variants, 1, 2, and 4 GB. The second generation was launched a year later and had an anodized aluminum housing, a screen 40% brighter, and longer battery life. The fifth generation iPod was launched in 2005, being the first iPod model to be able to play videos its screen being larger compared to other models. The second generation iPod Shuffle was launched in 2006 and was called the most profitable iPod of all time. It was square in shape and had a built-in clip. This generation also worked as a flash drive, just like the first iPod Shuffle, but it did not have a built-in USB connector, requiring a docking station to connect it to a computer. The sixth generation iPod was known as the Classic and was released in 2007. This version had an improved battery life, running up to 36 hours of music playback and 6 hours of video playback. It also has a backlit screen and its front plate was made of anodized aluminum. Apple launched a third generation iPod Nano in 2007. It could play videos on a wider screen, had a new interface and cover flow navigation. Its battery life was up to 24 hours of audio playback and 5 hours of video playback. iPod Touch was launched in 2007 and is similar to the iPhone. It has mute touch screen, Wi-Fi, offers the possibility to access Safari and YouTube, and users can buy music directly from the iTunes Store application. The fourth generation iPod Nano has returned to the shape of the first two generations of the Nano series but being thinner with an aluminum case, voice recording, glass screen, and new shake to shuffle songs function. An update of the first generation iPod Touch was launched in 2008 and this time was thinner with a rounded design, volume controls, built-in speaker, and Bluetooth support. 
The third generation iPod Shuffle was released in 2009 and was called the first music player that talks to you. This means that this version had voiceover, meaning it could say the names of songs or artists in 20 different languages. Also in 2009, Apple launched the fifth generation iPod Nano. This was the first iPod to have a camcorder, a larger screen, a radio, a speaker, and a microphone. The third generation iPod Touch was launched in 2009 and has been updated to integrate support for voice control and bundled remote earphones. The first iPod Nano with a multi-touch screen was the sixth generation launched in 2010. It could no longer play videos and no speakers or camera. Instead, it had a battery life of 24 hours of audio playback. In 2010, the fourth generation iPod Touch was launched, also called the iPod Touch 4G. It was noted as the first iPod Touch with front and rear cameras, had a retina display and was thinner and lighter than previous versions. The latest generation of iPod Shuffle was launched in 2010 and reintroduced clickable track and volume controls. This model also has voiceover and can have multiple playlists. Also, the latest generation iPod Nano was launched in 2012, returning to high form and having a larger multi-touch screen. This model was the thinnest in the Nano series, had the ability to use Bluetooth wireless headphones, and introduced the Nike Plus iPod Fitness feature. The fifth generation iPod Touch was launched in 2012 and had a new aluminum design and the option to have colored cases. This model is thinner, had support for 1080p video recording, camera enhancements, Siri, and had a retina display. The sixth generation of the iPod Touch was released in 2015 and was a major upgrade of the iPod. It came with a new six color range, a new 128 gigabyte model, new cameras, and one gigabyte of RAM. The last launch of the iPod Touch was in 2019 and was updated with a new 256 gigabyte model and has the Apple A10 processor also used on the iPhone 7. This model is also capable of playing music, movies, audiobooks, or podcasts and can sort the media according to several criteria. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video.